them like this, or maybe we sit in front of them. I never thought in a million years that I would be teaching. I was in practice for about 20 years, and I guess when I turned 40, and I said, what do I want to do with, with the rest of my life? And the opportunity came up, and I'm very happy I made that choice. It's definitely been the hardest job, so it's, it's kind of coming full circle in a way. This is a treatment session, showing them how to use all the adaptive equipment, I think giving back to the profession and hopefully providing students with information that is really important to know going into this healthcare profession because I still do treat. Well, do you just figure out what works best for the person? You do. But this is somebody that really has an extreme ulnar deviation. We are treating human beings and we're treating their families and in the healthcare professional world we have to look at quality but also client-centered practice. We are we are touching another person, we are communicating, and that first impression can really go a long way in how successful they can be in that therapeutic relationship. And along with that goes professional behavior. And that starts in the classroom, making sure that you have the integrity and the ethics to go out into the field that this profession demands to be a good quality therapist. She's still moving her arm a lot though. If you ask any of my students, the, the key to almost everything is communication. And that's why I had you for just do that. <laughs> it's kind of hard. So now we're trying. I think they learn, even as freshmen, the content that they're learning and the expectations that we're holding, not only in my class but across our curriculum, is the beginning of their professional career. And then at the end, they feel prepared to actually go out and do what they've been trained to do for five and a half years, which is to be an occupational therapist.